Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay Yee and this is The Daily Shay Yee. On this channel, I share fashion styling videos, fashion hauls, along with some life and beauty tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So in today's video, I'm going to share with y'all five different ways to style this black wool coat that I picked up from Amber Crombie. It is a very nice coat and I feel like a black wool coat, no matter where you get it from, is a staple in a fall closet. So I just want to share with you guys how you can make this fall coat work for different looks. Now I only included five here, but you know, there's always a plethora of different looks you can make work. But these are my five personal favorites that I would definitely wear. So if you like to see how I put together five looks with this coat, then just continue watching. together type of looks for those days when again I always say this when you want to dress up but you really don't feel like putting a whole bunch of effort into what you're wearing this is a perfect look for that now a button down top I say it all the time is literally a staple in your closet it works for spring summer fall and winter it literally just works all year round I paired it like this and so I did kind of like that half French tuck situation where one side is tucked in and the other side is left out definitely make sure to iron the shirt so that way you know the look looks a little bit more refined because if it's wrinkled with this kind of half tucked in situation it can look you know a little rusty but obviously I paired the coat right on top of it and I decided to go with leaving the collars out I just felt that it was kind of elevating the look a bit you can always keep the collars inside but for me, I think the collars out for this look was kind of doing what I needed to do. And then I paired it with this denim that I got from Zara. And I mentioned this in my top five denim to have for fall. I feel like this pair of denim is just one of those pairs that works really well with a variety of different looks. And I especially love the raw hem detailing. And I mentioned in that video that I love it because it works well with boots. And so I decided to pair it with my Doc Martin J. Dones and... I freaking love these boots. I got them last year and literally one of the best investments I've made so far. You will get your wear out of it. You will definitely get your money's worth. But I think that overall, this look is given very chic. You know, it's kind of given a little business professional on the top, but then you get on the bottom and you start to get like the chic, edgy look. Overall, I really like it. I think that it works really well. Perfect for those days when you're kind of just strolling around the city. Maybe you kind of go get some lunch unexpectedly. Maybe you do a little shopping, if you will. I paired it with this bag so this is a beaded bag that i also got from zara technically it was my sister's and she gave it to me so shout out to her <laughs> thanks girl but yeah really like this bag i like the black iridescent and i feel like it kind of just gave the outfit a bit more character but yeah overall i'm really liking this look i like the balance that it has between the top and the ankle cuff of the jeans and obviously the length of the coat so look number one y'all <laughs> with this sort of pseudo professional look there's a theme here I really do like pairing professional type of pieces with more trendier chicer pieces to kind of make this nice little hybrid action going on so first we have this ribbed bodysuit I think that first of all any type of like close cut fitted top I usually prefer it in a bodysuit because I do think that it's just very flattering now I do like the bodysuits that have the clasp at the bottom you know to make things easier when you know you need to go but this one is from Amber Crombie and I featured it in my Amber Crombie fall must have. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it after this one. I'll link it over here somewhere. But yes, I like this top a lot. It's very comfortable. It is fairly warm, but not too, too warm. So layer underneath the coat, it is doing what it needs to do where it's providing some optical warmness without making me feel like too, too hot, which 
I do not like. But what I really love is this sort of like asymmetrical action going on. One side without the sleeve, one side with the full sleeve, and I really do like this sort of kind of cutting action right across the chest. I have broad shoulders, so I do like anything that sort of has like a little asymmetrical action going on. I feel like it's just very flattering on my upper body. Now I did go with these pleated pants that I got from Nasty Gal. They're very comfortable, they fit very well, they have nice pleating and I like the peg leg action because it really works well with the sandals I have on which are these H&M mules and I picked these up a little while ago but they're basically like dupes of the Bottega Bonetta mules that you've seen around but they are very comfortable very very comfortable which is why I like wearing it with the outfit like this because I know that I can walk in these and not feel any type of pain for like a solid eight hours and I'll be good given the monotone of this look I did want to kind of break that up a bit put my jacket back on so you guys can just get the whole idea and then on top of that it also works really well with the bag I'm wearing so my coach tabby which I featured in numerous videos before as well like this tabby honestly is my everyday bag and she does exactly what she needs to do but the monogram c's all have like this tan color which perfectly matches my tan mules so you know just trying to bring in the color a little bit more than obviously the majority of the black is black so it works really well so if you're a corporate baddie you could definitely wear this to work keep the coat on likely it looks very clean sophisticated chic without you know too too much effort but you still look like you know you know what you're doing with your life so this is look number two so i lay my head to rest when the sun is rising i'll start a brand new day when the moon is shining i long to be with you and all the for look three i went with a more simpler look just you know a nice simple black midi dress this particular dress i picked up from zara a few months ago i think that it is a perfect date night dress or if it's not for day night, it's a perfect just night out. I love the ruching detail on this dress. I think that it just is extremely flattering. But what I really like about this dress is not only the length, but the fact that it has this thigh split because it works really well with boots. And I wanted to specifically wear boots for this look because, again, it's fall. It's colder. You can wear heel sandals for sure. Do what you want. But I think that the boots still give a nice little flair. And these boots are from Shoots and they have this sort of like faux crop detail western action going on. I really like them. I think that with jackets like this, it's important to make sure that you're probably wearing something that you can see like the rest of the fabric that you're wearing, whatever it is, pants, shorts, what have you. Now, obviously from the front, you'll be able to see it, but from the back, sometimes, you know, if you're wearing like a mini short mini dress or a skirt, it can look like you have nothing on. That's okay. Honestly, I don't care really. <laughs> But if you are somebody who's concerned about something like that, then a dress like this that is kind of longer than the actual coat works really well. And because this is an all black look, I really wanted to add some color. Ooh, I have my green quilted bag from Zara. And yeah, I just love the detailing. The brass detailing actually matches like almost perfectly with the brass detailing on this jacket. So it's really the little things. It's the little things that kind of bring this look together. This is look number three. ASOS they are by River Island and they're actually one of my favorite pair of faux leather pants mainly because they're one of the few that don't make me sweat heavily and I feel like everybody has this issue with faux leather pants that you sweat so these pants definitely do it for me I decided to cuff them a little bit at the hem because I wanted to really kind of show off the shoes in this look and these are from Zara I am obsessed with them I love the chain detailing on them I just feel like it kind of sets it off the sling back is obviously a classic you know pump style but I think overall just like this is a really good shoe and then i went with this rib sort of cropped long sleeve collar top that i also picked up from amber crombie and it pretty much has the same material as that bodysuit i featured i believe in look two very comfortable again it's just warm enough it's nicely layered underneath the jacket there's no bulkiness going on i really like the neck detailing here it's sort of like a v-neck scoop neck sort of mixed action which i think is very flattering and again it's kind of like a little baby crop top it pretty much covers my midriff but if i were to like raise my hand 
it becomes a little croppy so I do think that's kind of cute like a little peekaboo so again this is probably something that you will wear like more nighttime or daytime obviously probably not to work or anything like that and I rounded it out with my Gucci horse bit and I felt like the tones on the canvas print was bringing out the tones in the top they're not the exact same but I feel like they're in the same family I want to say I feel like they're in the same family and also the gold detailing just really brings out the gold on the shoe and also the kind of like gold brass detailing of these buttons brings it out on the buttons of the coat as well so just little small details like that to kind of tie the look together but yeah this is look four and I feel like she is definitely doing what needs to be done <laughs> combo brown and black honestly works so well together I don't care what anybody says it is a match made in color heaven so these brown shorts I picked up from Zara a while ago and they have been a favorite I actually got them on sale I really just like them because I feel like they could be paired in multiple different ways but it's definitely a more casual vibe I prefer shorts like this mainly because I like the a-line factor I like that it's not too you know figure hugging I feel like they are very flattering and they just kind of work again with a variety of different shoes or tops so I went with this Aritzia Babaton Sculpt Knit Tank. It's one of their best-selling tanks. Literally, this top is like, she is that girl. Like, I don't know what kind of sorcery they have going on, but the fit is amazing. There's like stretch here. There's some warmth going on. And so I did want to have something that, again, kept me nice and warm because it is a sleeveless little action, but I still feel nice and cozy. And then I decided to add a little belt just to kind of accessorize the look a bit more. And then I went with my H&M platform loafers. These loafers are just so cute to me. And I think that, you know, it kind of preps up any look. And then I decided... I decided to go with my Coach Pillow Tappy in the cream color. Again, just to kind of offset the very monotone neutral, just give a pop of, you know, a lighter color. But I switched out the handle with this chain handle that I picked up from Amazon. Obviously, I could have gone with the original strap, but I love wearing my Coach Tabby as kind of like this uh, shoulder bag. And I think that the gold strap is also a little longer, so I'm able to really put it on my shoulder and feel comfortable with it. But this is look number five. As always, I appreciate y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments below which look was your favorite. I think for me, I mean all of them really, but look three with the dress and the boots, I don't know. It was doing something for me and I was like, I definitely need to take some pictures in that outfit and then actually wear it out. But yeah, that probably is my favorite out of the favorites that I chose for these five looks. But yeah, if you like the content you see here, then please feel free to give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps boost me up in the YouTube algorithm and also lets me know what you guys like to see. As always, I will catch y'all in my next video. Until next time, bye!